Prince Edward as well as the Countess of Wessex have resided at Bagshot Park in Surrey since their wedding day in 1999. It seems that they don't have plans to move out, given that they have renewed their lease with the Crown Estate for another 150 years. The residence of the royal family is only 11 miles from the Queen's residence in Windsor Castle, ideal for visiting with their two daughters Lady Louise and James Viscount Severn and will allow them to be near with the Duke and Duchess Cambridge when they move to Windsor too. In an interview she did in a previous interview with Sky News, the Countess stated, We're a lot more fortunate because we live so close to the Queen, so when she spends a lot of time at Windsor on the weekends, our children are more fortunate because they can go over and have tea with her on a regular basis. The Grade II listed house is situated on the area of 51 acres. It, it is believed to hold more than 120 rooms, after it was destroyed to be rebuilt by 1879 which is why it's no surprise that it's believed at PS 30 million in the event that it is listed on the market. Check out. A couple let the to let the press inside their house in the past, showing their gorgeous conservatory, which is lit by sunlight and has stunning views over their gardens. It features terracotta brick walls as well as a dining area, barbecue, and plants for the house. The Countess sat with the BBC's Naga Munchity in one of the rooms of the royal residence that is lavishly decorated with green-striped chair upholstered in an emerald green carpet. The room also has an elegant gold-edged mirror, the stunning fireplace in marble with a collection of antique sideboards as well as exquisite artwork. It is possible that we got an inside look at the most grand room of the home as Sophie uploaded a second footage of the work she did. The room is adorned with the walls of carved wood with huge double doors, brass handles as well being a pair of glass side tables that have brass legs. On one table is a tiny pot of orchids in cream and a collection of other ornaments, a picture in a silver frame as well as a desk lamp with white shades, and another table appears to be the trinket container. 